So guys, as you can see, using my Lansky Madrock, world legal, and uh, I'm just scraping the bark, using the, the blade, the softer bits. I've been using the, the curved section there, like so. See it all comes off, and then when I get to the underneath, just scraping it back again until I get this nice white that you can see here. Um, so I'm going to carry on doing this um, and then cut probably about that long, so sort of 10 inches or so, um, and make some 10 pegs with an EDC uh, rather than a bushcraft knife um, just because I can really to be honest um, I like to use my EDCs um, and these Lansky uh, knives the Lansky World Legal and the Lansky Mad Rock um, are fantastic uh, for an EDC, but they also cope with pretty much most uses work, work-wise, um, and I like to use them, to be honest. I don't see the point in having an EDC and never using it, so yeah, put them to good use, guys. Uh, as you can see, stripped all of that now. I'm just going to put some marks on how long I want them. This is one. I don't know if you can see that mark just there. I'll put in there. Just rolled the blade around it. This section is a bit skinny really for what I want, so I'll only get two temp pegs out of this. Uh, well, I say temp pegs, tarp pegs, ground spikes, whatever you want to call them. So, as you can see, all I'm doing is putting a, a notch in. Scraping it down. And that gives me my notch. See that? Gives me my little notch. I've rounded the top off as you can see. A bit more there. As this helps prevent the top from splitting out and splaying and hammering it in. tend to just put a rounded edge just ever so slightly on these just so when the cord goes around it doesn't bite into the sharp edge of the wood where I've carved it so I don't know if you can quite see that Sides. Don't try and take off too much meat at once, obviously.
of that. You see that it's not quite pointed. And then I go around, taking the flat edges off, as you can maybe well see, and that's pretty much it. One tenth steak done. The thing you can do to help the tips is if you burn them slightly, uh, I mean this is dried wood anyway, but if you burn the tips slightly you can harden them up, stop them from tipping off, but I never put a super sharp tip on, because it always snaps anyway, especially in wet ground it gets wet. Plus you'll find a lot of woods have a, a little soft core in the middle, uh, in the middle of them. Like this one has a tiny little soft core just in there. So just leaving it a slightly thicker tip just helps. But that's one. Now I'm going to work on this one. So to get the top around. Go to the thickest end, because that's the end you're going to hit. Um, and literally, just work your way around. Like so. That's how I start it. And then I go halfway up that cut. This is an even a straight blade, so it's a hook blade. So I want to go, as you can see, my line goes to there, so I still need to cut that out and there as well. I'm going to go through about halfway of the thickness of the sticks that you're using. Um, that way it gives you enough bite for your paracord, if you're using paracord that is, some of us use bank line or whatever, but yeah as you can see, getting there now, a little bit further, so just take a little bit more off of there because 
I like to do the edges on mine as well. Sometimes you'll get these fluffy bits in here. So what you do is if you just go back down and just press nice and hard, like you did the original when you did your stop cut, and then just turn your blade away from it, and then bring that one back to it gently. It'll give you a nice clean cut, and then just gently take off the side there. Round it in to your flat section. Yeah, so this one's sharp, this one's nice and rounded. So now for this one, start on the outside and then work your way back in. Yeah, you can see the little burrs there. See, nicely done. But as you see, there's plenty of meat there, so when you're whacking it, it'll still go in. And then again, just cutting it down. This one's ended up with a bit more of a point than that one, so you can see. I'm quite happy to just chop that off because I don't know if you can see it there. That is the core, which is soft. As you can see, I've just pulled it out of there. So we'll cut that back there a bit. As you see, nicely done. You can see the core there, I think. But yeah. And that's your, your peg. So obviously, that gives you a good five, six inches to stick in the ground. And then your rope or cordage, whatever it is you're using is left out. This one's ever so slightly longer as you can see but yeah 